Now, part two of the possible answer to the question, why are we here tonight, is almost a contradiction, if not just ironic, especially if you agree with part one of the possible answer. Because it's not just about your curiosity, it's about our cynicism. As I said earlier, many of the people that I've shared community with over the years expressed a quiet but wholly authentic desire to pursue the important questions in their lives. This desire expressed itself in many diverse ways through creativity, through relationships, through introspection, through involvement, even through disconnection. At the same time, I realized that many of those with this, with this desire also had a highly tuned sense of caution, a defensive perimeter, if you will, quite frankly, a serious bullshit meter <laughs> that reacted swiftly and strongly to anyone or anything that claimed to be the authority on what was true about us, our world, or our universe. Now, it's kind of difficult to criticize our bullshit meter. Um, it seems like every single day, something we were told, something that was allegedly proven, something or someone that was sworn to on a stack of Bibles or Korans, or backed up by the latest peer-reviewed, double-blind scientific study, or reported to us by a trusted journalistic source, turned out not to be altogether true, and sometimes completely untrue. So we feel misled. We feel betrayed. We even, we even doubt that much of what we're led to believe is really true after all, or even if there's such a thing as truth. And as a result, our cynicism starts to overshadow and even diminish our curiosity. So I'd like to offer up to you a complete possible answer to the question, why are we here tonight? And that possible answer, which is as individual as each one of us, exists in the tension between our curiosity and our cynicism. It's a kind of equilibrium between what potentially could be an active and intense desire to understand what is true, that at the same time is opposed by the equally intense resistance to being told what is true by someone else. We want to understand and know, but we want to be personally responsible for that understanding and knowledge. We don't want to be, we don't want to be told what we know. We want to initiate our own search without pressure. We want to personally consider, discover, and finally understand what is true for ourselves. 